Okay, I'm going to work with the pen tool today and show you how uh, I've managed to come to some sort of a peace or truce with it. Um, never really liked it too much, but I have a method, and if your method is better, I'd like to hear it. So let's see, we start with the pen tool, and I try to use a minimum number of points, so I think one here, probably one up here, but I'm not going to do it just yet. One here, maybe one to here around this curve to here, around this S curve to here. I think I can do that with just one point. Around here to here, around here to here, and then I'm just going to finish this off um, roughly because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Now the first thing is I leave it in uh, Pen Tool and I hold the Alt key down and um, that should let me here we go that little triangle is what I was looking for when you go over the uh, um, point pull this out and I fit that to about there that's the front of the whale's nose um, and then I hold the Alt key down again with the pen tool selected. And that breaks that tangent. And we bring that around to there. I'm not going to do that side, though, so I'm not going to worry that much about it. Now, um, holding the Alt key down again. I always pull it the wrong way. I don't know why. Uh, I get that to uh, there. We're going to worry about one of the sides. Uh, pull that out it the wrong way, pull that out to there, holding the Alt key down still there. Okay, I've got that side fairly well. Um, now I don't have anything pressed, and notice when I go over the line with the pen tool I get a plus. So um, now using the white arrow tool, I take this new point and I put it up here because I thought I was going to need it, and I did need it. Pen, um, Alt key, there make an adjustment here okay and continuing to hold the alt key down continuing to hold the alt key down but pulling and that's pretty good um, okay for here We get that. And we get that. Releasing. And that breaks the tangent. Bring it down to there. Pulling this out. Like that. Continuing to hold the Alt key down. Like that. And there's part of that tail. There's part of that tail. If you get the tension just right, you can get a fair amount of that tail curve. I'm using the white arrow tool, and I'm just adjusting that side and this side to try to get the curve around that part of the tail. That's pretty good. Let's make an adjustment here. Okay, back to the pen tool and holding the Alt key down. And actually, maybe I can do it with the white arrow tool. Touching there, there's the other handle. So I don't have to upset what I did already. Matching that curve. Now I need the pen tool, Alt. I'm matching the bottom of that curve and releasing and coming back and pulling down, capturing the that part of the curve over to here and I don't think I'm gonna get that perfectly I don't know he must have used whoever designed this more than one um, curve more than one point to make that shape but that's my guess and that's as far as I'm gonna go now um, I right click and stroke path 
with a brush with black ink small brush so you can see what I did I didn't remember I didn't really work on that area so you can see um, you can get quite a lot of work done with just a couple of points if you put put the tension in the curves correctly